Hey guys, this is Fancy Sniff here, and today we are gonna play some more Wizard 101. Now, today I wanted to tell you what I wanted to say was not anything about PVE or updates or anything, it's about PvP. Now, I'm making a new deck, and hopefully, this helps you guys. And this is a basically a PvE and a PvP deck, so it works for both if you know how to use it so I'm gonna show you what it's like now you have you start with the um, dragonfire deck so you need to get that from dragon spire so if you're not from dragon spire it's okay you don't really need it it just helps and you can buy one from the bazaar you don't need a full deck like you can see you don't even need full cards these are just there uh, just in case what I want to say is um, you will need um, for this deck basically two cloaks one for pvp if you if you don't want the other player to see what you're using you might accidentally you might just um put a minus um well like a minus 50 on yourself or something and he might just use something to attack and think it's like he might minus you and then you're not actually using anything so you can just like disguise things you will three pixies mainly because if you discard two which you won't need you always have that extra backup one just to help you out if you're about to die. Now, whatever the your secondary class school is, like mine is Storm because I need the extra damage. I would use Dark Wind. Like if you're yeah, you are Mist, you would use a Mist because Balance to uh well Balance to have one is basically power play, but it's it's a it's for power pip chance. So I use Dark Wind. Then I put two crackers mainly for low hits and for finishing off. Then I use Storm Trap just in case, just to help again with the um, Stormzilla, just to give that extra boost of damage to kill that um, opponent. Then I use Thermic Shield, mainly two Thermic Shields because Ice and Fire are mainly the Ice is like OP right now and uh, Fire's got a lot of damage. Because I am Storm, I will have um, some should have some good resist against Storm like over here i have a minus 50 against where that these are mainly mainly for ice if they overpowered and fire so they these are always good to help have against pvp not so much in pve but it will help against fire and ice windstorm you only need one because you hardly use this because it takes a pip away and it's 20 to, to all enemies um next uh storm spell to all enemies and you might not need to use it but it's really good to have then, because I'm balanced, a balance blend, two of these, you won't need three, because two is a good amount, and um, you always have that backup if you um, accidentally use one, and then they minus you, uh, minus 25 on you, and you can actually um, take that off and get it back. Then you would want minus 45, you want black mantle. This will help so much against Storm, but thing is remember it's really good against all and it's minus 45 so it's an uh, excellent chance of visiting don't have so much of these because then you won't have enough for the more important but these are seriously good counter attacking just to get your spells out there blaze storm this helps uh with the balance blade but only use it when you're certain he's not gonna minus you or you actually really do not and only do this in 1v1s if you really need it and you're gonna about attack Mainly for 4v4s, 3v3s, and 2v2s. Um, donate power. This is only for 2v2s and 3v3s, but it's based on PvE. So this, you you don't need any, you don't even need this, guys, but I would uh, suggest getting this. If um, you have a teammate who joins or anything and he's about to attack, and you know. Elemental defuse. You hardly need this, guys. You hardly need this. That's why I only have one, and you won't even hardly use this in any of your PvE or even PvP. But keep it because of the ice. Remember that, guys. Five pips, but ice is all piece, so keep that in mind when you're uh, using this. Three judgment, just because judgment gives a lot of hit and it takes all your pips. Three is a good amount if you discard two, because you won't even need two. Three, but I keep three for the extra attack. Then two mandamini just because they just help you, help you, help you, and it's really good. Four power novas. I would say three power novas, but four is a good amount. 
just in case you're running out of cards and you can jump in with the power nova with seven but now i am going to take uh two power novas off just because i i realized that this is going to be useless if you're going to have so much power play this is only good if you're really doing uh if you're like on one pip or well if you've got uh, two power pips and you're gonna do like for instance two of these power novas you're gonna need to push push this on because it's gonna take the make for you to get this so that's gonna be good and precision this will help a lot because i'm storm if you're not storm you won't even hardly need this but storm it helps a lot but remember when you're doing this it uses on anything a normal attack any attack you use it will use it on reshuffle you need two of these basically one just in case all yours got it but extra one just in case you discard one you won't even use reshuffle as much as you use the rest of the cards spectral blast this helps kind of i would take two mainly one would help but two just in case you have four pips and you've got no other attack to use and i will use this because it has a chance but remember that chance there's a chance of getting fire ice storm so if you're storming here storm sorry that's gonna do some less damage so remember that again spectral minion this helps a lot depending if you're rising a fire then ice will come first thing thingy there but remember chance guys chance two um spirit blades these help a lot against these three elements i remember when you have three of these you're gonna need uh, three uh two of these sorry you're gonna need two of these just so it, it balances out all the deck and um all the elements except for um balance which is kind of good but the way it is um balance defenses are good but the offensive well, the blades are kind of, well, are really crap if he puts a minus if he puts this on me basically weakness what happens to me is i have to take away my blade just to hit that's why it comes in handy with two or you minus 45 just in case they fizzle that helps so much and you need to spell outgoing spell this helps against weakness which is really help helpful and you keep weakness yourself just in case then you need a spirit trap and elemental trap this will help when you are having a teammate and you need extra attack and it costs one that's how good it is keep two of them then you need two spirit shields because one you're gonna do a lot of attacks remember that guys they're gonna attack try to kill you so you're gonna need some um defense same with this then on my clothes i have tower shield helps so much against any class remember this guys get tower shield from ice if you are ice get tower shield if you're not ice sorry and you have you don't have a second class yet and you haven't used your points tower shield the way to go trust me guys it is the way to go it will help you so much then i have uh polar swarm in a way just over time attacking just in case i have the extra pips fiend fiend faint whatever you call it guys fiend mainly just because it helps against all your attacking and it destroys them it destroys them and it's really good mass infection this helps so much against life people i would definitely keep this then major crusade which is just like a normal attack keep it whatever your normal attack is elemental shield two of these just because you, if you discard or even run out of these you have a minus 55 back up and ice remember that op on ice supernova it destroys the the opponent's aura and basically dealing one times the damage of how much that is which is so helpful if you know what how you're using it and what to use it on now i'm thinking if i should add any extra bits onto this and guys trust me i do not know what to use it on um uh, 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 uh. Uh, I would say sandstorm if it will help because sandstorm is so 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 good when you're attacking um, many people which can help a lot but for this I would say yep so you would stick on two sandstorms just to get that extra all people attack and yeah so that's my um,
PvP, 1v1, PvE, and PvP uh, deck. And here's my treasure cards. Now, in treasure cards, I put draw health, sacrifice a main 400 health, it helps. Two um, frost giants, just mainly because you want to deal that massive damage on them. I remember it's ice, frostbite, just for extra overtime damage. Ice Zilla, just like Stormzilla, just in case you need that attack or that finishing off attack. Minotaur, helpful as heck, guys, if you if you know how to use it and put the traps up. Thunderbird, helps in a way, but you don't need so many, so I'm just going to take it off. Stormzilla, now, same as the other one, but upgraded. Keep these, just keep these. Yoshimo, which is basically a samurai, keep it a lot if you are Storm. And Hydra, just in case you need that three elemental attack on a certain um, school. And that helps a lot. And if you want to know, guys, Hydra here, just in case. And Hex, I didn't tell you about this, sorry about that. Hex to give that extra 30% with the faint. And helping cards just to heal you or heal teammate. Now, guys, that was my uh, PvP one v one deck, and uh, hopefully this helped you better than before last time. And if it did, thanks. And guys, you tell me in the comments what you want me, what deck, what you want me to improve or show you how it works, or you know, get what I'm saying. And yep, yeah, and I will actually make a deck on that. And I will show you an easy way for low levels how to get good attacking and good damage dealt. So I'll see you later.